this is going to be a very chaotic video. I can feel it in my bones, even though we haven't even started yet. Boing, boing. Hey guys, it's Zuri, and I'm back with another video. As you can see, I am not in my room. I am downstairs at some other mysterious part of my house that you never see. Because today, we are doing something interesting. So I've always wanted to hand paint mugs and potentially sell them or display them or whatever, but I've been interested in hand painting mugs and I've tried it and it didn't work. I will, well, it did work, but it, it wasn't exactly how I wanted. I will insert pictures here, but I think I have some better supplies now because before I used acrylic paint and it, it didn't really stick to the mugs properly. But this time, I ordered some special paint, I guess you could say, uh, ceramic paint. Uh, and this is, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's Pebio maybe? Pebio paint. Um, I ordered the primary colors and white. <laughs> because if it's one thing that I've learned doing art, especially in school, it's like there's a rule that you don't use pre-mixed colors, you mix your own. So I have the primary colors and white. Um, and I have some paint brushes and I have mugs. Let me just show you my setup because today's video is me basically testing out uh, the paints and the mugs and I'm just gonna be testing it out to see if this will work in the way that I want it. So let me show my setup here. Uh, we're going to do some fancy editing, so you'll see me in the corner. Kind of like how gaming videos work, except this is a painting video. You can see my camera here, but it's fine. <laughs> so, here is my setup. I have two mugs. I don't know if I'll test them both out in this video, but this one is a sublimation mug that I got from Michaels. And essentially, uh, what a sublimation mug is is it's used for sublimation, which is basically uh, printing designs onto the mug, which I could also do. I could also just like design m something on my laptop using Photoshop or whatever and print it onto the mugs, but I really want to hand paint. I don't know, there's just something fun about hand painting. So this is a sublimation mug. I wanna see if, it'll, if the ceramic paint will work on this. I'm assuming it will, but uh, when I googled, can you paint on a sublimation mug, Google was not able to answer my question. So that's one, I probably won't get to that in this video, but I will just do that one on the side. But the one I want to test in this video specifically is this ceramic mug that I got from Walmart. I actually bought like 11 of these bad boys. <laughs> 11 because the idea is that if these work I'll be able to sell them you know make a little side money <laughs> um you know I, I I I just I I'm excited about this so anyway this is the mug that we'll be working on and I showed you my four paints we have uh red uh cherry red cherry red color we have a rich yellow, a blue. That one doesn't get a cool name, it's just blue. And uh, white. Um, so all of these should be able to give us all the colors of the rainbow. Can you paint with all the colors of the rainbow? Yes, you can with just three colors. So I have those and then I have my little uh, water, <laughs> uh, my little jar with water, and I have my um, painting, I don't know what this is called, I should know what this is called, hashtag fake artist, no, <laughs> but you know, this is what you like put the paints on and mix the paint in, and then I have these four uh, brushes, uh, these were from Michaels, and these were from Michaels as well, um, and then I have these <laughs> assortment of things because I'm not sure what's going to work for my drawing of the design on the mug. Uh, so I have a pencil, I have 
my eyeliner I have a, a regular writing pen and I have um, this like ink pen this like ink pen so we'll see which one of these works for drawing the design so basically my idea is I wanna for my testing I'm just gonna do a simple color wheel so a color wheel on one side with the primary colors just to see how it looks on the mug how like the pigmentation all of that and then on the other side I'm going to mix the colors so we'll have a uh, red yellow blue on this side and we'll have um, orange purple and green on this side so let's just get to it um I'm not sure what the like I said I'm not sure what the best thing is uh, to draw on this so we're just gonna go with pencil yeah nothing absolutely nothing we move on to pen which I assume will also give us nothing go on girl give us absolutely nothing let's see yeah nothing um, I might just have to go grab Sharpie at this point. Because <laughs> I saw that pen could work. Um, I'm going to save the eyeliner for last because I'm kind of scared of the eyeliner, to be honest with you. Let's try... <gasps> we have a line! I think this is going to work. So we're just going to do a very basic circle. It doesn't have to be perfect here. It really doesn't have to be perfect because the main goal is that we're doing a color wheel. So the paint's uh, gonna, we're just gonna, you know, it'll work. It'll be fine even if it's not perfect right now because it's just a rough sketch. So now we have the making of our little color wheel. So red will go here, yellow here, and blue here here we go we'll see how this works let me just see can it rub off ah it can rub off really really easy so yeah we're just gonna get to it I'm scared but also nervous happy excited I cuz I ordered these paints I ordered these paints uh, earlier well it's what day is it it is uh, Sunday the 22nd. I ordered them, uh, technically last week, um, at some point, um, like, I don't know, maybe Wednesday or Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, I don't remember, and they said that they wouldn't reach until this coming Friday the 27th, and so I was pleasantly surprised when I woke up to find that they had arrived. All right, so we're just gonna take um, this kind of broadish brush. Um, let's just pause to admire our brushes here. Um, we have, you know, an assortment <laughs> uh, size brushes. I'm just using the second largest brush here, which isn't very big, just so that we get some, we can get some control and some coverage here. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna take this I'm just gonna erase the R because it might be transparency paint and I don't want the R to show underneath the paint. It might not, but anyway. So we have this nice red, nice red. Look at that, nice red. And now we are just going to apply our first coat. Da da da. Ooh, look at that, look at that. So. I'm just going to do this nice, try to get it as neatly as possible here, but you know how it goes when it comes to paint. Also, painting standing up while you're trying to demonstrate is a whole different beast. <laughs> There we go. Try to get a nice little arch here. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. So there we are. It's nice and pigmented. Look at 
look at that. I don't know if you can see how nice that is. Mmm. Juicy. All right, so we're going to wash off this brush. Well, first of all, we're going to lay up this paint here. And then we are going to wash off this brush. But let's see how easily this comes off our brush. I'm missing a, uh, like a tissue paper or something to just like dab off the brush with. So as you can see, it's not mixing with water very well. Maybe it's because I didn't use a lot of paint, but, um, I've been using watercolor in, in, in school. One of my classes, uh, required us to, to paint with watercolor. So I think I'm used to it just like really, uh, doing well with, I'm, I'm, I'm used to the paint like really like mixing into the water. So I'm just gonna go get um, a tissue paper or something to just wipe off this brush with. This is where things started to go downhill. So I did not realize that water would not wash off the ceramic paint from my brushes. So when I tried washing off the red, it wasn't coming out all the way so then when I dipped it into the yellow to use it and put it on the cup it came out orange <laughs> when what I really wanted was a nice bright yellow so I you know I tried to wipe it off again with water but I'm assuming that ceramic is oil based it just does not mix well with water so I eventually I just had to use a different brush to apply the yellow and I um, wiped off the orange that was there and just applied some yellow with a new brush and then I applied the blue with a different brush but I found but my mom did research to find that um, olive oil actually does the trick um, of taking off the paint um, and then my dad actually found some uh, paint thinner, some, uh, I don't know if it's turpentine, but it, it probably has turpentine in it. So I used olive oil and then I used turpentine. So I felt really stupid <laughs> for not realizing that ceramic would not wash off with water. Um, of course, why would it wash off with water? It would kind of defeat the whole purpose of being able to stick onto the ceramic mug, right? But it's fine, uh, we persevered. Um, <laughs> so after I um, painted uh, the color wheel with the primary colors, I went ahead and mixed the orange, uh, green, and purple for the next side of the mug. And that went pretty well. You know the phrase, I'd rather watch paint dry? Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to start watching paint dry. <laughs> so it's been a couple days since I last filmed, but I've been touching up the mug. I'm not gonna show what it looks like right now because it's literally drying right here. But the main problem that I've been having is that each time I let it dry, I think it's gonna be okay, I come back and it's dripped onto the next side. So I've painted both sides of the mug. So 
one side, and I can show a picture or a video of what I mean. Uh, if this side, if I paint it on this side and I, I put it on its side to dry, the paint will drip onto the next painted side. Um, and this has just kept happening. <laughs> I figured out too late that I should have taped off where I wanted to paint. Um, but putting tape on paint that I've already put on the mug will just rip the paint off. Or I'm concerned that it'll rip the paint off because I know that ceramic paint can come off with tape. I got rid of paint drip before by using scotch tape, you know, this kind of tape, and just ripping it off. So the paint drip has been an issue. So I'm literally going to stand here and watch this paint dry for a little bit until I'm fairly certain that it won't drip onto the next part or at least I don't know uh, it's over here which is why I'm like angled this way but yes other than that I like how the paint dries onto the mug I really think you know it has it I think it's called like a liqueur finish I believe is the uh correct yeah that's what it says on the paint uh liqueur finish it's very glossy and it you know it looks very nice but I did run into another issue which is that uh, this kind of paint is not food safe, or at least I don't think it is. I, I've been getting mixed signals because when I look up food safe ceramic paint, Pebio paint comes up, like this kind of paint that I have comes up. But when I go on the actual website, pebio.com, it says that anything that you have used uh, this paint on should just be decorative. It should not be utilitarian. Um, and like on the actual bottles, it says, you know, it's uh, maybe harmful if swallowed, you know, vapor might be harmful. So it's like, I don't really know. I mean, it says danger <laughs> on the bottle. So I'm assuming that if it's, you know, bad if ingested while you're painting, then it would be bad if you know, you know, let's say paint gets on the inside of the cup and then you drink it. I don't really know, but I just, I don't feel good about, um, you know, potentially having these mugs and then using them and something happening because I'm getting mixed signals. There's also an article that I read in which somebody said that these paints were food safe, but then somebody else commented saying that it wasn't food safe, so now <laughs> I don't really know, but I still, like, I bought $37 worth of this paint, you know, and I still really like the idea of hand painting, so I feel like if I do end up going ahead and selling them, they will just be decorative, and I'll make that very clear. Decorative mugs only, please do not drink out of them. I mean, on one hand, it could give me more creative freedom to like just paint on the inside of the mug and like just decorate the heck out of it. Just make it as ridiculous and as abstract or just like, you know, just I can make it whatever I want. I don't have to feel restricted by like keeping the inside clean. That's one upside. But I, I guess I was a little disappointed because I was hoping that these mugs could be actually used, um, you know, for like drinking and stuff. <laughs> um... But I, I just, I don't really know because, I mean, the website itself, I feel like I will trust the website more than I would trust Google. It says, you know, just decorative, <laughs> just decorative. So I'm just not going to risk it. I don't want anyone to get sick or anything like that. That wouldn't be fun. That wouldn't be cool. That wouldn't be great at all. So I feel like it will just be decorative. But I am a little disappointed, I will say that. And I also feel like a big idiot because, I mean, I should have done more research. But I guess I was more focused on, like, will this paint work on the ceramic mug? Because the paint that I used before, which was poster paint that I thought was acrylic, the whole thing. <laughs> I was more concerned that this paint wouldn't work, but it does. It's great. It's perfect. But it's not exactly food safe. At least I don't think it is. So well, you'll just have to be decorative. So, yeah. So after I'm, you know, finished watching this paint dry, making sure that, 
you know, it's not dripping on to the next side, which this is just a test mug. This mug is just a test mug, but I want to make sure that I kind of know how to work with the paint and know how to deal with it before I move on to like actually painting mugs that I want to go out into the world. <laughs> so when I'm done, uh, I'm going to bake them. Um, I'm going to bake the mugs. I should show you this mug that I did. Um, it, this is supposed to be a coffee bean. It just kind of looks like a brown oval. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I'll do anything else to it. I think I won't. I think I'll just leave this kind of as is for now. Plan is once uh, the other one is dry to put them both in the oven. And according to Google, which as we know isn't necessarily always reliable, but I've read this before, you put them in cold and then you preheat the oven, uh, let it like heat up with it and then you let it bake for 25 to 30 minutes and then you take it out now i'm not entirely sure if i have to bake mugs that have been painted with ceramic paint because whenever i look it up i don't really get an answer it's only really talking about baking acrylic paint onto the ceramic mug so i don't know if i need to do that for ceramic paint but I'm going to anyway just to stay on the safe side and hopefully it turns out okay and then once that happens I'm gonna let it cool and then I'm just gonna let it sit for a while and then I will wash it and see how it turned out um, and I will let you know how that goes so this is the finished mug after it's been baked and washed um two things of note really is that the paint has darkened um i guess because of the heat especially the yellow you can really see that the yellow has gotten a lot darker and also any like mistakes or any little like imperfections i guess you could say are made very obvious um I guess the I don't know for sure I don't know the science behind any of this but I guess my guess is that when the paint kind of hardens onto the mug because of the heat it like I don't know amplifies the mistakes I don't know but the two things that I note are that the paint's darker you can really see the brush strokes and like every little thing <laughs> You can see the same with the coffee bean mug, except it was dark in color anyway, so it's not really noticeable if the brown darkened. Overall, I'm pretty glad with how this little experiment worked out. Obviously, this was all about trial and error, just seeing what worked and just testing out the paint on the mugs and kind of going through a rough sketch of what the process will look like um, if I go on to hand paint more mugs, and I do think that I can go on to hand paint more mugs. I just, I kind of know how to deal with the paint now. It'll just get better the more I do it. So, you know, just gotta continue and see how other mug painting goes. Um, <laughs> I might make more mug painting videos in the future. If you are an artist out there that has worked with ceramic paint or knows how to do this kind of, you know, hand painting, please, leave in the comments <laughs> please guide me in the comments any suggestions tips anything um yeah watching this video back knowing what i know now <laughs> i was <laughs> i felt a little stupid but you know again it's all about trial and error and i'm pretty glad with how it worked out so thank you for watching this little adventure of mine and i will see you next time Bye bye